Hi, I just wanted to put together a video to help people that have never uh, been introduced to this device. It's an H801. It's a Wi-Fi RGBW um, LED controller for uh, strip lighting. It's very inexpensive and it works great with smart things today because of some awesome work that Eric did, uh, one of the developers over at uh, smart things in the smart things forum. So, uh, you can go, I've got the link up there on the, on the corner. You can see his page, but I'm going to show you how to flash this. What you're going to need in addition to this hardware, you're also going to need to get an FTDI USB to serial adapter. That's this guy right here. I ordered that also on Amazon. And uh, on this particular one, you're going to need to also get this little uh, USB. It's, uh, it's not your normal micro USB. This is a standard mini USB cable. So if you have one of those, you'll need one of those to, uh, plug into your USB. And then also you're going to need some uh, jumper cables. So I ordered a package of uh, just some loose cables like this. It has multiple male-to-male, female-to-male, and uh, female-female jumpers. And I used that so that I could connect it and uh, make the connections of the devices. So this is the one I ended up with. This is it right here. And what we're going to do is plug uh, this device on top of this guy to give me the uh, uh, the connection so you just you'll plug that in like this and I've already pre-set it up correctly to work with the uh, uh, 801 so that when I come over here and uh, plug this into the portholes that you'll see right over here in the in the side I'll plug them in a lot automatically will match up with the uh, uh, transmit receive so the transmit and transmit connect together the receive the receive etc the voltages and then there's a little J3 here in the middle of the board and what I did there, it's uh, just another simple jumper. I took one of the, um, you know, I just stripped off one of those extra jumper cables and made up something like this so that that will plug into the J3 port. So uh, I'll just pull that up over here. And, of course, this is your H801 with the covers removed. And I uh, went ahead and plugged that in. And so that prov provides the, uh, um, so that it can go into flash mode. All right. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I'll show you what that looks like now. So I'm going to put all the, the cables together. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and plug in uh, the um, FTDI USB, the serial adapter. And it's going to connect in. I'm going to come down here on my, I've got a Windows 10 computer. I'm going to do a, a right click and so I can come up. It's not pulling it up for me. I think it's, what is it not doing? It's not liking something here. Let's try that. Interesting. I had to make that smaller. Okay, I'm going to come up over here, and you can see I can go to a Device Manager. I'll pull up Device Manager, and what I'm looking for, it's this port that shows up um, on my Device Manager. So let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick and see what comes up. And what we're looking for, it's, let it come up here. I'm using COM port 5, as you can see. And that's necessary because of what we're going to be doing with the uh, command prompt. So I'm going to pull this window out of the way. And here I've got my command, command prompt window opened up. And I got that by right-clicking over here on top of the window. And, and I'm using the command prompt admin one. I believe the other one will work, but just to be safe, I'm using admin. So I clicked on it, and uh, here's your standard window that comes up. And uh, I previously have already downloaded the necessary uh, firmware that was done by Eric, and uh, that's all on top of that post thing that I had up there earlier. So I went ahead and downloaded the ESP um, uh, software. It's ESP Easy, and uh, within that directory, after I uh, went ahead and extracted it all, I went ahead and installed the um, the actual bin file, the firmware file that I also downloaded again from that link up in that post. So I've got it right. What I have here now, it's the simple way, so I don't have to type all this in. I've pre-typed all this. I'm going to copy this command, which is a way for me to change the directory uh, that starts out in the command prompt, and so that it'll start looking at the correct directory where I've downloaded uh, the program. So I'm going to change the directory here. 
I hit enter. So now you can see I've changed the correct directory. So I can actually now run the executable file, which is this next line. This next line is all the necessary parameters in the script so that I can go ahead and run that ESP tool. So I'm going to copy this and uh, paste it. And you'll notice that what I have in here already is I've uh, edited this file for the appropriate COM5 port, which is what we saw earlier in Device Manager. So you'll just change this part of that line to make it equal whatever your COM port is that's on your current computer when you plug it in, um, that serial adapter. So I've got COM5 in, and now I'm going to go ahead and plug the, uh, the ports together. So let me come over here and get that done. And the way, I'm, the way I'm doing this is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the right across here on top of the middle of my uh, H801 board. So let me go ahead and put that in. And I'm putting in that jumper again that fell out. And what I'm noticing, it's this, this uh, board, when I plug in these jumpers, they don't fit really snug, and so they're kind of loose. I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, so when I plug this in, they're fitting this board, this part of the connected. It's, it's coming out pretty. I can wiggle it, and uh, and so I'm not getting a good solid connection right there. So I'm going to keep my finger on it um, and just put some really slight pressure, just like holding it like this. I'm just going to keep some slight pressure so that I know I've got good connection electrically. Uh, on top of the device. Now, as soon as I plug everything in, I've got the uh, I've got power going to it. So I'm going to replug in. The way to start the flash is I need to make sure that the jumper is across J3, and then I power up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Is I'm disconnecting my USB. I'm going to plug it back in. Uh, so I should be in the correct flash mode. So now I'm going to go ahead and and execute the file I've got in Command Prompt. And let's see if we get a successful load. So uh, it's starting the load. You can see it's starting to go along the bottom here. So this is the, um, as I slowly I get the load in, and, I'm, and I, you can see that I'm actually pinching. It's not pinching, but very slightly holding the pressure so all these pins have a good um, connection while it's doing this flashing load. If you have any trouble doing this load, that's probably what it is. At least that's what I found with mine is I didn't have a good electrical connection, so just putting slight pressure to make sure that all those pins and the portholes were making good electrical connection. Uh, it only takes, a, it's, it's pretty quick as you can see, it's going to flash that up. And then as soon as it's done, what's going to happen, and there we go, we just finished up. So now it's, what's going to happen, it's this uh, H801 is now going to become an access point for us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect. So I've disconnected my 801, which has been successfully flashed, and now I'm going to go plug it into a, a power. So basically I'm rebooting it. I'm going to put it back on power, and then we're going to come up and watch the uh, uh, this come up on an AP. So I'm coming back here where my power is. I just plugged I've got my test bench behind me. So let's see if this will uh, come up. I'm going to come down here in my come up on Wi-Fi so we can take a look at it. And so here's my current connection. And uh, now what we're going to try to do is see as the uh, H801 is rebooting, uh, it's going to become an access point. And then what we want to do is see it. Uh, we're looking for that access point over here on top of uh, the network. So it should come up and uh, we'll wait for it to pop up so that we can act, uh, connect to it. So when the ESP uh, connection comes up, the password that we're going to use it's config me, and config me allows it now to uh, uh, to be allows us to connect to it from um, from the device. And it doesn't look like the my computer is finding it so quick. So I'm going to do it. There's another way to do it, of course, is just using your phone. So I'm going to let's see if see if it's going to be faster from my phone. I'll try to do it from either one. We'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm on top of my um, my phone and uh, I'll just we'll see which way it comes up quicker here so I'm just going to use my uh, phone I'm going to turn on the uh, the Wi-Fi here and see if it picks it up and it's just going to come through and uh, 
it's looking for, let's see if we can tell, it's looking for the different uh, Wi-Fi connections as well. And let's see if anyone can pick it up first here. And I can't tell. Oh, yeah, I see it in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, the phone here. I'm not sure why my computer's not picking it up, but I'm going to go ahead and select it. It's it's this first one sitting right there. So I'm going to make the connection. And as soon as you make that connection, this is what you're expecting to see um, uh, in your file. And you can, uh, you'll also see it on your, uh, your computer if, uh, if it connects to it. And you can, uh, I just use the first one, which is the, um, the idea of, configuring the uh into my my home network here so i'm just trying to connect i can't, can't seem to be touching it very good let's get it good here so i'm just going to configure this so where i can go ahead and um, access my uh you can see the access points it's sitting locally at the house and you just pick the one that you're going to be connecting to and just put in your uh, your credentials here so that the uh, esp uh, chip on the h801 will then access the same, uh, your network. So I'm going to do that now. Let me go ahead and connect in. When you select the, um, the your SSID, it'll automatically populate it down below, and then you can enter your password. So I'm going to enter mine in. And as soon as you enter your password in now, you can go ahead and uh, save it. And when you hit the save, it, uh, it then uh, writes it over to the flash so that your uh, H801 is all ready to connect into your smart things. So I'm going to go uh, see if it does that. And so now my phone has now got connected back into um, uh, back to my normal network. And let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to change this screen to be a little bit bigger. And let's see if we can find out uh, if we can actually show you how it gets connected on this side now. I'm just opening up my uh, Smart Things mobile app. Let's see, Smart Things is going to be okay. So we're connected now. I'm hoping you can see this. Okay, it's, it looks like it's kind of glary, and I apologize for that. But uh, I'm not sure how else I can do this. But if you open up the app now, I've already preloaded on top of my uh, my mobile phone. I've already preloaded. So I have accessible into the IDE. I'm accessible to all the uh, the software apps that uh, Eric has already written. So the service manager. So we're going to go jump into that guy real quick by going into um, uh, the automation and then into the uh, smart apps. And you'll be able to, um, I'm going to scroll down over here to find the, uh, the right app, which is right here. So there's your smart life uh, RGBW controller right here. So I'm going to tap on that one as it pulls up. And here it can see the existing, uh, uh, these are my controllers in here right now that I currently have uh, in there. And what we're going to do is discover the devices. And so that's this guy right here. So if I hit discover, it's going to search. So right now I've already got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, controllers. But here's the one I just added. It's this 192, uh, the second one down. I think it's found the five, but I think I've got seven. I've, I've lost track of how many of these controllers I've got on the network now. Uh, but what will happen is it takes a few minutes. It can uh, pull it up, and then we'll be able to uh, uh, select them. So there they are there. So one, two, three, four, five. There's that, that new one I, uh, that we just added in. So I need to select it, and that now puts it on so that the Smart Things Hub can find that guy. So I'll hit Save, and it's just added. So we've just finished uh, successfully adding. Um, I'll hit Next to put it in. Hit Done. And you can change the names of these. Uh, so now we've just, uh, that device is now available for me. So I can jump back over here into my things menu of my mobile app and then access that uh, brand new device and do some control. Hope that helped.